Hi, my name is LSR Tortal. I will present a hydrogen-powered car combined with gasoline as a hybrid vehicle and hopefully will answer the question of why we should want to acquire this useful innovation that could make our life easier when unexpected things happen in our life. Let me remind you that this is not a motivational talk, but there is a serious truth about this presentation, which I hope that you will be patient and wise enough to listen. On September 21, 2012, at IEEE session meeting, Dr. Tiber, professor at Clemson University International Center for Automotive Research, talk about the government plan with the conglomeration with key industries of maximizing the utilization of electric battery car on the road by giving higher tax incentives on electric car user, high tariff on gasoline and diesel, high cost of gasoline prices. This has already started and will be unraveled in a few coming years. At the end of each year, people are often optimistic and hopeful that next year will be a better one. But these aspiring people mostly belongs to the working class, find their circumstances continue to slip into decadence every single year, and that it is even hard to maintain. The economy is volatile, aggravated by ever-increasing inflation and supply. They don't even control their jobs, their unpredictable and sometimes ruthless bosses. Let me remind the five basic needs of the modern man, that is food, clothing, shelter, mobility, and connectivity. These five things are essential for a man to live. Throughout the century, man gains knowledge of producing and processing its food. Nowadays, man can grow its food even in an extreme environment by controlled greenhouse or bubble houses and using hydroponics. Man also prepare and process foods for astronauts in outermost space. The high cost of land space, building materials and laborers opted engineers to ingenious design using recycled materials but with integrity and easy to assemble at the least possible time. Here, you can see a shipping container transformed into marvelous living spaces. Human has a need for unrestricted personal mobility and that locomotive continue to evolve into a powerful, faster, more comfortable and sophisticated entity. Being a sociable species, man communication means also evolve into a higher level dictated by man's technological advance. Keeping the existence of the society of man is complex as man itself. It costs great deal of resources, infrastructure, innovation, and an order. There is a never-ending conquest and search for new source of energy and wealth, which was realized none everlasting, but depleting and is soon to be gone. When there will be extreme scarcity of resources, there will be chaos. Scientists and engineers, through the incentive and grants, of the government of any nation are doing extensive research and innovation on renewable and clean energy that is less harmful to our already tarnished environment and polluted atmosphere. These projects are solar power and wind turbine.
hydrogen generator and fuel cell. However, the current electric and hybrid cars, which when fully implemented, that should greatly reduce the greenhouse effect, is still far from reality because of the enormous infrastructure requirement, such as charging station everywhere across the country that would require great amount of power requirement overall, especially on peak hours, meaning it also requires a bigger capacity of transmission lines and substations. Also added to the cost of these modern vehicles is connectivity brought by the advancement of modern communication and computer networking. We are now enjoying Bluetooth technology in almost all our gadgets, such as cell phones, computers, iPads, etc. Even in our car radio, hands-free system and GPS, the future will implement traffic light, wireless interaction, and early warning system, camera, and real-time news alert, and even driverless autonomous cars. But can we really rely on our so-called technological advancement that is mostly conceptualized for a utopian society? that only clamors for a life of euphoria and too comfortable to deny the inveterate reality of our doom. Do you have absolute control to keep your current job and status? Are we confident of our present health and wealth? Can we completely trust our bosses, other people, the bank, the government, can you afford to quit whatever you are doing? Is it considered stupidity to start preparing now? If we say we can only trust in God, didn't God told Noah to build an ark? Perhaps the signs of times which we do experience now is God's way of warning us to be prepared. Just as animals can cross crocodile-infested waters, man will also take larger risks to find a greener pasture. Our company, Ally Scientific Research, which was registered in Los Angeles, California in 2007 and also in Vancouver, Canada, have been engaged in biomedical engineering research in the development of a semi-invasive cancer treatment device. It is also hoping to be one of the authority on renewable energy and sustainability. One of our life project is the HHO Hive, which is the generation of hydrogen by electrolysis of water and introducing the gas into the internal combustion en engine as fuel. The amenities example, commute, bathtub, television, etc. are unfortunately necessities.
the HHO hive is an in-between of a car and an RV. It has essential necessities mentioned above. It can park anywhere just like an ordinary car, but can also stay to RV park. But the main thing is that it can be operated on gasoline fuel or hydrogen. We have various designs that could be customized according to the preference. Imagine having the HSO hive in your garage. You will have a peace of mind, if you may, that you have the bathroom available if the water supply and electricity is cut off due to earthquakes and other natural causes. For example, if you have to relocate because of studies or new jobs and you don't have a relocation, you will still have something to function while finding a place and you will not be bothering friends or relatives so much because you can stay in the garage or outside the house with decent facility. Pumagana lang eh.
ngomong kalau ditulis nak apa ni.